examples. When you see this diagram, of course, the very first thing that you need to tell is which one is the oxidizing agent and uh, which one is the reducing agent, right? P and Q, okay? P and Q. Uh. P, uh, Q is potassium dichromate. Uh. P is uh, potassium iodide. So which one is oxidizing agent? P or Q? So let's check. Let's check, okay? This is iodide. Uh. Iodide. Uh, iodide is a uh, halide. And this is a uh, potassium dichromate. So let's go back to potassium dichromate is here. Okay, so this is potassium dichromate. So potassium dichromate is oxidizing agent. Eh? Oxidizing agents. Halide, iodide, eh? is the reducing agent. So this dichromate, eh? dichromate is oxidizing agent. And the halide is reducing ha uh, agents. Eh? Uh, halogen is oxidizing agent. Eh? Halide is reducing agent. Okay, so potassium dichromate is oxidizing agent. So Q is oxidizing agent. So this is oxidizing agent. You just need to identify one of it. If you know this is oxidi oxidizing agent, then the other one must be a re uh, reducing agent. So oxidizing agent, it undergoes reductions, right? Oxidizing agent undergoes reductions. So if it undergoes reductions, so Q is anode or cathode. Okay, reductions always occurs at cathode. Eh? So Q is cathode, and therefore P is anode. So if Q is cathode, then Q is the positive or negative terminal. Yes, Q is the positive terminal, right? Because the cathode eh, is always the positive terminal for uh, this uh, uh, voltaic cell. Okay, this is positive. And this negative. Then we know the transfers of electrons uh, is from P to Q, right? Okay, P to Q. Uh. So A naught is P. Uh. A naught is uh, electrode P. And cathode is Q. After we identify which one is A naught, which, which one is cathode, and uh, which one is negative, which one is positive, uh, okay? Uh, the next thing that we need to know is the reactions that occurs at uh, cathodes and a nodes, uh, 